East Texas is, is probably a, well, it is a unique portion of the state. It's sort of rugged country. A lot of times it's hard to get around in if it rains a lot. Hunting and fishing is, is not so much a recreation as a way of life. Uh, we tend to work in the remote areas, the backwood areas. We've got lakes on either side of us here, and in the middle is nothing but forests and, and trees, and so tons of hunting in the middle of the county and tons of fishing on either side of it. It's, it's enough to keep three game wardens here pretty busy. My name is Jerry McRae. I'm Lieutenant Game Warden. I've been a game warden for just over 24 years. My name's William Skeen. I'm a game warden here in Sabine County, Texas, stationed in Hemphill. I've been, uh, been stationed in this assignment. This is going on my uh, second deer season. I've been with the department about almost two years now. What we're doing is waiting for a uh, fisherman to return to the landing. Uh, uh, he's a commercial fisherman. We know him. Uh, and what we're going to do when he comes in, we will uh, we'll be checking his, his licenses to make sure he complies with our license statutes. Uh, we'll be checking the documentation on his fish. He's, he, he fishes in Louisiana, but he, he transports them back across Toledo Bend uh, to this side of the lake, and he takes his catch out here. Y'all moving some nets? Or you just didn't need all that cheese? Mm, wait, no, we didn't move anything. That's holding back there, so we'll put them in. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, Scotty. Let's get her. East Texas has always been known as kind of the, when it comes to game and fish laws, kind of the, uh, the outlawish area of the state. And, uh, and I've seen those attitudes change tremendously in the last 24 years. And, and I, I think it's because, uh, in great part, of the law enforcement effort that's been, that, that's taken place here. We didn't kill we hadn't killed things, did we? Not killed a thing. That squirrel dog, will he do it? Yeah, You better keep him close, because there's some fellas would. They like to get a squirrel dog now. Uh, lots, of, lots of fellas looking for a good squirrel dog. We take a quick look at y'all's licenses. The dog only treed once. And that was just right after we left the pickup up here, right off down in here. On. Hey, my name is Doug Norman. I'm a game warden assigned to San Augustine County. And I've been working here for the past 12 years and six months. My name is James B. Ramft. I'm a game warden in St. Augustine, in St. Augustine County, referred to as Deep East Texas. I've been a game warden approximately two years. We need to look, look in the cooters like we did last time. You know, a hunting camp is probably more important in this part of Texas than other parts. Uh, it's a big social event. Have y'all killed anything? A lot of times the camps will be excellent, be perfect hunters, so to speak, real conscientious hunters. Some of the camps, uh, the ones that we generally try to deal with the most, uh, you might call them outlaw camps or have that element in there. And generally most of them in there, they feel like that their day or their hunt's not complete unless they've got a, a good shot of Jack Daniels under their belt. And they have the attitude generally to go with it. This can be a dangerous time for any, for any warden to go in uh, because there's always going to be guns in the camp. There could be some, uh, some hostilities in the camp. It depends on uh, what they feel 
towards you and how you handle them as a group. Well, then it's violation of the law. You see how I'm, I'm, what I'm saying? Yeah. Probably won't say anything. Technically, if they say no, then you, you've taken deer without consent of the landowner. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If they don't say anything, then it's legal. Oh, we got now. See what I'm talking about? Well, the importance of this of this cabin to any game warden in East Texas or any game warden in the state is this is this is the location where game warden Ronnie Germany uh, was shot and killed uh, in the line of duty uh, back in uh, 1973. They were investigating a man here on the game and fish law violations that had been reported of doing everything from hunting squirrels out of season to trapping illegally or fishing illegally. And uh, when they came down here to investigate it, well, a shooting occurred and Ronnie was killed. This is the cabin where it happened. It's sort of a, a special place, a sad place for any warden that, that's ever been out here knows knows the story behind it. One of our greatest problems in East Texas uh, is uh, is probably the road hunting problem. When we think about enforcement of game and fish laws, especially game laws, it's road hunting. What we're doing right now is working our decoy deer program. We're on a county road right now that that kind of skirts right in between two type two areas where we've get, got a lot of road hunting through here, a lot of, a lot of night hunting through here, and we've got the, the decoy deer set up inside the type two area, and we'll get some traffic from this county road coming through here. And uh, we're, if we get some traffic through here today, we'll definitely have some people shooting off this county road at the decoy deer. We've got other wardens down there stationed at that end of the road, and we're down here on this end of the road to, to intercept them either way they come in. And uh, we, we ought to get something today. Ricky, what are you doing back over this way this evening? I was you going hunting. Started hunting? Where, where do you hunt at? I was going back across the railroad track. In, in some of that type two over there? Yeah. It has twofold impact. You catch the individual that, uh, you know, that shoots the deer, but I've probably even greater than that uh, as the word spreads, as he goes back and tells his friends and, and, it's, and, it's, and it becomes known, it, it's it's much more of a preventative method than, than probably is it a real method for just going out there and, you know, and apprehending that individual who's on the road. You know, we've filed in the last three years a number of cases, well over 100 cases of, 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 of hunting deer from the public road and, and utilizing the deer, the decoy deer program. Um, no way to estimate or no way to put a figure on the number of deer that we've saved from being killed on public roads simply because the reputation that Bucky has in East Texas and people know that road hunt, that there's a possibility that that just may be Bucky. I never remember a day that I've, that I've gotten up and dreaded to go to work. You know, we joke and kid about it, and a lot of people say, because you're just a brand new game warden, but uh, I can't believe I get paid to have so much fun. You know, I hope in 25 years that I can still say the same thing. <laughs>